Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Archibald, and I practice restorative and preventative dentistry at Twin Cities Sedation in Forest Lake, Minnesota. This is the first video of a three-part series. The use of sedation during dental treatment has been on the rise over the past several years, especially in my practice, due to a large population who do not seek regular dental care because of the anxiety they feel going to the dentist. The American Dental Association recently revised its guidelines recommending the use of capnography for moderately sedated patients. While this is a new recommendation by the ADA, I have been using capnography in my practice for several years. The measurement of carbon dioxide in exhaled breath is known as capnometry and is represented by a numeric value. Capnography is the addition of a waveform or capnogram. Capnography works by sampling exhaled air through a small tube such as a cannula or a sample line during a procedure. The amount of CO2 in the exhaled breath is analyzed by the monitor and reflected in a waveform and numeric value that are displayed on the monitor or capnograph. Monitoring patients with capnography is important for a number of reasons. It rapidly detects changes in ventilation, such as hypoventilation or respiratory depression, which may be caused by the medications the patient is receiving during the procedure. It augments pulse oximetry readings which reflect the patient's blood oxygen level and can be delayed by minutes. And lastly, remedial measures can be taken expeditiously within seconds before hypoxia can result in an irreversible injury to the brain. By adding a standalone capnography monitor and a Bluetooth stethoscope to the existing parameters you may already have in your clinic, such as pulse oximetry, blood pressure, and heart rate, you will be meeting the new ADA recommended guidelines for ventilation and circulation of moderately sedated patients. A measured concentration of carbon dioxide in exhaled air creates a capnogram waveform to immediately display changes in ventilation or respiration levels that could signal respiratory distress or failure. Pulse oximeters, which have been the gold standard of care for monitoring sedated patients, rely on a significant drop in the patient's blood oxygen level to alert you to a respiratory problem. This takes much longer than capnography and the patient may be severely compromised before action is taken. Next, we will talk about reading capnography values and waveforms, which are key indicators presented on a capnography monitor. N-titled CO2 values are usually expressed in millimeters of mercury. Normal N-titled CO2 is typically between 35 and 45 millimeters of mercury. N-tidal CO2 values greater than 45 millimeters could be an indication of hypoventilation or respiratory depression caused by the sedation procedure. A no breath indication or lack of waveform may signify that the patient has stopped breathing and immediate action must be taken. Let's take a moment to go through the analysis of CO2 waveforms. This diagram shows the normal CO2 respiratory waveform pattern. Starting with a baseline of zero, the beginning of exhalation is the upstroke of the waveform. Exhalation plateaus at the top of the waveform just before the next inhalation downstroke. The last point of exhalation, the end tidal point, is where the CO2 is measured in the exhaled air and the respiration rate is calculated. The height of the waveform is scaled to represent the end tidal CO2 value you see in the display. Try it yourself to see what your respiration waveform looks like. There will be a slight lag time of about three seconds between your breath and seeing the waveform on the monitor. If the patient begins to hypoventilate, you may see the breaths become farther apart as the respiration rate slows or the height of the waveform increase as the CO2 increases. There are a number of possible causes of respiratory compromise during dental sedation. Underlying sleep apnea, or OSA, asthma, or over sedation. 
Capnography can be an essential monitor for patient safety during moderate sedation and can provide the earliest indicator of an adverse breathing event. By incorporating capnography into your protocol, you will be meeting the new ADA recommended guidelines and making sedation dentistry safer for your patients.